Here's an idea for using a single piece of thin metal to construct a stick-on adhesive motor mount. Now in principle what your motor mount needs to do is to interface the rear of your motor which is perpendicular to the line of flight with some part of your airframe most components of which are parallel to the line of flight for logical reasons. Now there are a million good ways to construct a motor mount but this has worked really well for me by using an L-shaped piece of metal whether aluminum or steel or titanium in this case to make that L-bend transition for your motor mount. I used 3M Scotch brand two-sided heavy-duty foam mounting tape which works exceptionally well from the lightest to the heaviest planes that I've got and a gift card used as the platform to stick the motor mount onto the plane itself. Here are a few of the sources that I've used with success for single piece metal motor mounts. Here's a piece of angle aluminum that I've cut carefully with an ordinary miter saw with a wood blade and eye protection. You can use a piece of bar stock aluminum bent into an L like this, although it gets a little heavy. Also inside the sides of many modern LiPo batteries there are little thin strips of aluminum each of which is very flimsy itself but when glued together and combined with a little gusset and the angle to stiffen it against uh, bending has worked pretty well. I don't advise cutting into these as if you puncture the envelope they will catch on fire guaranteed. My favorite that I actually end up using in all my planes is a piece of titanium plate. It's one millimeter thick and it comes inside um, saltwater pool cells which are common here in Arizona and California and Australia inside of which there are about 10 or 12 of these titanium plates covered with ruthenium which is this weird rare platinum like metal that I cut down into little strips like this drill the holes and bend into an L like this. It's very light um, stiff just enough springy to allow some adjustment and also some resistance against crash and it's actually surprisingly easy to drill. It's a little harder than aluminum, not as hard as steel. Now the idea of course is to use that piece of metal and mount it to your airframe like this whether it's a wing or the fuselage and that will permit you to put the motor on in the correct orientation. The problem is although this tape sticks exceptionally well to both the paper on the foam board and the foam underneath, if you take the paper off if you have a crash or through excessive vibration, sometimes it will definitely peel the paper off and it will sometimes detach from the foam itself. The solution for that is to use an interface for the adhesion such as a gift card like this which you can hot glue directly onto the foam which makes an extremely secure uh, adhesion and then use the two-sided foam tape to adhere your motor mount then to that. This actually becomes a removable and adjustable but otherwise very secure junction that I've used with the largest motors that I've got. So for example here I've got this fast little delta wing plane that I've made that I've stripped the, the paper from this piece underneath this gift card, hot glued that onto the foam directly and then adhered the motor mount to it. Now in a crash where it will break loose is where the foam tape is. This card will stay on the plane and the motor mount will stay with the motor, making it easily replaced at the field with more foam tape. This is an example of a motor mount for my upcoming sky van where the motor is mounted to the bottom of the wing and actually put the flap servo right on the uh, motor mount itself as well. There's the piece drone with the same L-bend metal motor mount inside. So whatever you use, of course you'll need to drill holes in this and the stock motor mount that comes with your motor makes a good template. If you have a drill press, putting the stock motor mount on and marking through the holes like this will probably work fine for you, but if you're using a hand drill as I do, it's very hard to get that precise just by marking it. What I do instead is take the template and flip it over so that the narrower part of the tapered hole is facing up at you. Place it where you like it and then put on a vice grip like that.
then use a drill bit that's a slightly larger diameter than your screw will actually be and use the hole as a guide right through each of those holes. And then now while it's tempting to get by with two screw holes and you probably will get away with it for a while eventually that motor which if unless it's perfectly balanced is going to vibrate back and forth who knows 10,000 times a minute is going to apply a lot of torque against those two screws and gradually come loose it's really better practice to take the extra time and go ahead and make all four screw holes so that it's stable in in each axis versus vibration and, and flight stresses additionally I like to drill out a little larger hole right over the bearing of the motor for cooling for clearance and also for lubrication if you decide to put a little oil in there it also just lets you inspect the shaft is moving and that the clip that holds the motor shaft in isn't binding against the inside of your motor mount or any debris that might get in there. I'd use a little blue Loctite or equivalent that's the removable kind of Loctite on your motor mount screws and a handy little tip is to use a rare earth magnet on the side of your screwdriver just to hold the screw on without you having to touch it. Go ahead and put all four of your screws firmly but don't overturn it because the motor itself is aluminum easy to gall out let that cure and then you're ready to adhere the bottom of your motor mount to the gift card which you have hot glued onto your airplane itself now if you're making a pretty permanent motor mount that you're confident you're not going to crash I just put tape all the way along the bottom of the motor mount and this has held on the heaviest of planes that I've ever flown and never loosened. If you think you're going to be doing a little crashing, you can use smaller sections of tape, like a centimeter or a half inch here, a centimeter or a half inch here, and that provides a slightly weak spot where the motor mount can snap off if you crash, and then you can just replace that tape, stick it right back on the gift card platform that's on your airplane itself. If you're using some metal that's a little thicker like this aluminum bar stock or this, one very useful tool is a step drill which can be pretty cheaply gotten at Harbor Freight or any hardware store and it's just got successively larger cutting surfaces to make larger and larger holes. So you can cut your initial hole in and then step it up to recess the head of the screw that allows you to get the head of the screw sufficiently down in the material of the mount so that the screw shaft protrudes through to the motor on the opposite side. 